Welcome back. Yes, it's time for Winner Home on Afternoon Express. We follow three very talented young designers as they transform three empty properties at the Valdivia Estate into dream homes using finishes provided by Caesar Stone and Plascon. And what, at the end of it all, you guys get a chance to be entered into the grand prize where you can win a one of those properties to the value of three million rand. Yesterday, we saw our design contestants meeting with their mentors to discuss plans for their bathrooms. They've been hard at work and with only two days left to finish, let's head over to Valdivy to see how far they've come. So, so I'm done. I don't know about the other guys. I heard they're a bit behind, but as you can see, everything looks perfect and I'm loving it. I have a few final touches to look after and some cleaning to do, but I think let's just do the final touches. So these are beautiful marble holders for anything that you might need in the bathroom. Just the final two, right here. I've always wanted to design a vanity like this and Caesar Stone made it possible. So I collaborated with Crip Creations for the vanity underneath it that's floating against the wall. I love the angles, the color, the base of it. It's amazing and it brings the whole space together. Final day for the bathrooms and I'm nowhere where I thought I'd be. Like if you asked me last week if I'd be here, I wouldn't have said I'd be at this stage. Right now I still need to get my mirrors on. The shower I'm standing on is not towel yet, so that's like one of my biggest worries. And I've had to make a few sacrifices with my design, like the, the, the screen that's coming in here is not is no longer gonna be the, the one that I had uh, designed initially because of time. While Minentle still seems relatively calm about the situation, his mentor, Bal Bellingham, who paid a surprise visit, is less impressed. This is not where I thought it was going to be at this stage. Um, I thought I was coming in for final touches. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm, I am, I am shocked. <laughs> I am really shocked. What is the big holdup? What do I, I mean, honestly, I was supposed to be at 10 to add in final touches, to add in, you know, plants, all the, the final things, and it's now... Like, my biggest worry from the beginning was the tiling, so I've been trying to push that to be done, but that's the thing that's been holding us back, because even the bath can't go in, because we still need to wait for the tiling to, to be finished. Otherwise, so is the mosaic the problem? Yeah, because even now we still need to wait for it to dry and clean it up and sort out there on top. I can't waste my time coming through, driving through for nothing. I honestly can't. Okay. So where's through from here? I mean, what do we do now? We're we gonna miss our deadline. Um, we're just gonna hope that the viewers love you. <laughs> Which I think they do, but I mean, no one's gonna see what your vision was. You spent so much time planning this, painstakingly planning this, and no one's gonna see it now. I'm devastated, I honestly am. I, um, I'm worried, I'm concerned, I, I also feel bad. I feel bad for Manente. I, to a degree I feel that I, I thought he had it. I thought he had it in the bag. We went through everything, he, we'd made all the decisions, the stylistic decisions, we'd planned it, and I handed it over, and I really, I thought it would happen, I really did. Maybe there's still hope, maybe they can still pull us together in a few hours. Um, I'm not optimistic though, and again, I'm just, I feel, I'm devastated, I'm devastated. Our plan is to get the, 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 shower, the, the, the shower floors as, as done as soon as possible, and then um, the tiling is done, that I'm happy about, because that means that my bath can then go in. And then with this, it's just a matter of waiting for the mosaic to dry out, and I'm gonna be having my, my, my glass go on and my vanity and the, the, the steel stand are ready. It's just a matter of putting it in. To be honest, at the moment, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be done on time. So I'm, it's very worrying. I must be honest about that. While Rudolph isn't much further ahead than Menendle, his bath and shower have been fitted and he's outsourcing the finishing touches.
Wow, wow, wow. Only two days left, gents and lady. Minente better pick up his game in this competition if he's hoping to uh, obviously win this competition. Now, this afternoon we are once again having a private property chat where we focus on a beautiful property and its surroundings as well. So as well as going to be focusing today on specific rooms in it, today being the bathroom. So with us to do this chat and to join us in the loft today is franchisee and principal of RealNet Durbanville, Cape Town, Christine Apple. Welcome to our loft. Thank you. Lovely being here. Thank you. I always ask all of our guests involved in property, could you take our loft and sell it for millions? Yes, give it to me. <laughs> I'll be glad. Fantastic. Christine, it's so good to have you with us in the loft. And I've been so looking forward to having these conversations because there are, I think, a lot of stresses that come with buying new properties. And private property has got amazing, amazing places to find uh, for a new neighborhood in people's lives. So which one are we looking at today? We are looking at the Welgevonden Estate in Durbanville. It is, a, I would say, a medium-sized estate, 168 mm -hmm. properties, with more than four hectares of parks inside the estate. So wow. it's a lifestyle estate, it's manned security, and it's very good value for money, and that's what makes it so attractive. Oh. That's a place where children still play in the streets, uh, get there on a summer evening, 7th City, the streets are alive. Mm. Uh, Mummy don't have to worry about little one going to a friend a couple of houses away. It's yeah, safe. Yeah. Uh, also, it's beautiful, beautiful views, outside living. Uh, the owners there are very proud of their estate. And then also about the future, uh, planned developments in the area. A lot of emphasis placed on education. Uh, what is planned for the near future is a primary school. Shortly after that will follow a secondary school. And what very few people know about at this stage is that there is a university being planned and all within a five kilometer range of the estate. Wow, so it is investment time. People get, better start getting their, their assets liquidated to get ready for this. But which property specifically are we looking at in, in Valgelinde? Valgefonden. We are looking at a property which is quite large, a 520 square meter property. Uh, and it is in a very, very prime position in the estate. It mm. borders on wow, the... it's beautiful. It is beautiful. It borders right on the park of the estate with unlimited views of the Boerland Mountains. Sure. So it is absolutely prime, prime, prime. And as it looks from, from the outside, so it is on the inside, a huge emphasis on design mm -hmm. and on quality of finishes. Okay, so let's talk through some of those yes. because I've, I've seen that they've got an incredible um, kitchen and a cellar. Yes. Uh, the kitchen, let's start with the kitchen. Uh, very well equipped. I think it's any woman's dream. It's part of an whole open plan setup with dining room, living room, adjacent braai, enclosed braai patio. Mm -hmm. uh, the, just for the cook of the house, there is induction cooking and gas cooking, and there are three ovens, of which one is a steam oven. Oh, it's my dream. It's an absolute <laughs> yes, dream. Yes, isn't it? Isn't wow. it? And then just adjacent to that, which is actually, actually part of the kitchen, is the scullery which offers a walk-in cool room. As one uh, client who I had through the house asked me, where is she going to put her double fridge? <laughs> and I said, but you don't need it. Why would you need it? <laughs> yeah. And so it's absolutely, it's, the extras are there that you normally won't find yeah. in a house. Uh, also, there's this beautiful little wine cellar. And from the cellar, if you really want to cool it, or the cellar is cool enough, but if you really want to, to have cold wine, you take it to the... Cooler room. The cooler room. That is yeah. so nifty so and it handy. Is absolutely lovely. Yeah. Absolutely lovely. Yes. So our contestants are currently working on their bathrooms. Well, two of them are working on them. The other one hasn't finished quite just yet. But they're very important rooms in the house. The bathroom in this property is is beautiful too. Yes, the bathroom is uh, actually I'm talking now of the ensuite bathroom for of the main bedroom. Mm. Uh, the whole main bedroom setup is a is a suite comprising of the study, the main bedroom, a huge dressing room, and then this wonderful, beautiful bathroom. Sure. Uh, it's a spacious bathroom. Uh, there's a travertine theme in this wow, bathroom. okay. Yes, everything travertine, from the floor to the ceiling. Sure. Uh, spa bath, uh, there's the toilet mm. with a bidet, and then you've got double vanities and a large shower and mm. underfloor heating. And Electrical to, towel rails. Wow, so it's designed beautifully. It's gone into all the little yeah. details and just taken into consideration who would be inside that bathroom, making it a space that is welcoming, that is friendly, that is warm, at the same time is also homely, which I think is, is great inspiration for our design contestants. And it's a lifestyle for the 
owners of the house. Exactly. <laughs> Let's talk a bit about the area because I'm very interested in the investment side of property and the market seems to be doing all sorts of things in South Africa and you mentioned this idea of safety within the estate which does elevate the price slightly if it does but maybe try and justify for us and explain to us what the property market is doing in a place like Durbanville because I mean anybody who's looking to start to maybe invest in a property whether it be for investment or for, for living in uh, wants to know that they are choosing something that is going to have a, a future plan that is going to add value to the investment. So what is the property market doing there? Is it a, a viable place to, to buy property? Yes, we have found that all the time. Uh, after the drop in 2008 to 2010, it is as if the market had uh, just taken off from where it has stopped. It didn't oh, fall. Sure. It was as if there was never a standstill. What's it the just reason? On. Um, a popularity. Sure. It's good value. People mm. move there. People live there. It's, mm. it's, it's a place where families can live. You have all the beautiful wine farms around. It's a lifestyle. You're part of the city, yet you're not in the city. Yeah. And uh, what, I find, what we find currently is a demand exceeds supply. Sure. Uh, good properties are not readily available, and when it comes on the market, it gets scratched up. Yeah, very, so, very quickly. So, yes, it's, um, a well-priced property gets sold, just like sure. that. But then it, 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 you know, a property that is not well-priced will still stay on the market. Yeah, true. But the current situation, does, it, it does push the price up. Awesome. Christine, thank you so much for all your insights. I really appreciate it. I'm feeling inspired. This house sounds beautiful. It's going to get snapped up like this, I'm sure. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Remember that you guys can also head over to privateproperty.co.za and vote for your favorite design contestant's bathroom, the ones that have been complete. By casting your vote, you stand a chance of winning paint from Plascon to the value of 5,000 Rand. You'll also be automatically placed into the grand prize draw where you could win one of those completed apartments at the Valdivia Estate worth more than 3 million Rand. Winner Home is proudly brought to you by Private Property in association with Nedbank. We'll be right back after this.